Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk about the Amazon Influencer Program. This is Amazon's way of helping people with large social profiles promote Amazon products with a more personal touch. It's been around for several months, but now they are opening it up to more and more people without a wait time. And they seem to be accepting more people and faster. In case you haven't heard, the Amazon Influencer Program allows you to get your own page on Amazon with a picture and exclusive vanity URL to showcase the products you recommend to your followers. When someone buys from your page, you get a commission just like the Amazon Associates or Affiliate Program. Even though it works like the affiliate program and is also managed on the same site, it's still considered a separate program. So it's possible to be an affiliate or associate, but not an influencer. To apply, you must have a YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook account. The more followers you have, the better chance you'll have of getting accepted. To join, go to the link in the description. Next, choose which account you want to apply with. Remember that whatever username is tied to the social media account you apply with is the name that will be part of your vanity URL. So if you apply through YouTube and your channel name or username is John Smith, then your vanity URL or the link you send your followers to will be amazon.com slash shop slash John Smith. So what if your usernames are all different? For example, your Twitter account might use your site name, but your YouTube account has your real name, like me. I personally chose to go with my name because not all of my content and recommendations are for the same site and topic, so I'd rather have my influencer account branded under my name instead of a single website. At least that was my thought process. So think about that when choosing which account you want to apply with. Now, depending on how many followers you have, you might not have a choice. You might only be able to get accepted under one account, but if you have multiple options, you need to consider this. Once you've been accepted, you can immediately begin personalizing your page with a photo, social media links, and products you recommend. Adding products to your page is super, super easy. Just search for it on amazon.com, go to the list drop down menu on the right hand side and choose your influencer list. Now, when you go to your vanity URL, you should see your newly added products. To check your earnings, just go to amazon.com slash associates and go to the reports tab. You can also remove products from your page by clicking the influencer tab. Scroll down to view list and delete unwanted items. You can even arrange the order of your items on your page. Don't forget to promote your page whenever you can because they do remove pages due to inactivity and will typically send you an email and give you a 45 day warning. So promote your influencer URL in your blog posts, YouTube video descriptions, and social media posts. Now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages. First of all, you get a short, concise URL to promote, and it's much better than those long, 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 complicated URLs that you get with the affiliate program. The landing page is also personalized with your photo and social media links, so it's a much more friendly way of promoting products on Amazon, right? Now, a couple of disadvantages. People who are not that familiar with affiliate marketing might be thrown off by this little hybrid page that you're promoting, and it looks a little different from what they're used to on Amazon.com. But here's an easy fix. Just explain to them that you were accepted into their influencer program due to your following and you have a branded page. Remind them that they're not paying anything extra. They're just going through your page and you earn a small commission. And I think most people will understand that. The other disadvantage is that if you have a lot of products, people might get a little annoyed having to weed through all your products to find what they need. And there really isn't a way, at least that I've seen, to organize the products so it's quicker to sort through everything you've got listed. If you've only got five products, no big deal. But if you've got 60 products, that could get a little annoying. In some cases, it might be better to just use good old fashioned affiliate links. But overall, I think this is a nice idea by Amazon. Just make sure you use your page because they will shut it down for inactivity. 
So let me know, you guys, what do you think of this program? Have you joined? Are you using it? Are you going to join? Were you denied? Let me know what you think.